And as promised, here is our director of scouting, Craig Button, to talk about the trade. Craig, you know, for a while, it looked like the Flames were just holding out for that potential first-round pick for Chris Tanev. It did not happen for Craig Conroy. They get a second-round pick. They get a conditional third. The person I'm most intrigued to ask you about is 20-year-old prospect Artem Grushnikov. How do you overall think Craig Conroy did in this deal? You're understanding that Craig Conroy is looking at this with Chris Tanev, who he knows has been an outstanding player for the Calgary Flames. And there can be no question about that or debate. But understanding he's an unrestricted free agent, understanding that where he wants to go with his team. So this is about the future for Craig Conroy. But when you get a defenseman, in this case, Artem Grushnikov, you're getting a really hard competitive defensive defenseman. That's what Grushnikov is. He's a really strong skater. He's territorial, positionally sound, understands what his game is. He's not going to contribute a lot of offense, but he's going to be able to kill penalties, block shots, be a really hard defender. Did I not just describe perhaps a young Chris Tanev? <laughs> and when you look at it from Chris, yeah. And so when you look at it from Craig Conroy's point of view, he's not just looking at it in isolation. He's looking at it with his entire blue line prospect and his prospects are Jan Kuznetsov big strong defender then you got Jeremy Poirier really good offensive skating defenseman you have Etienne Moran their second round draft pick last year really great puck handler makes a lot of things happen offensively and now you add Grushnikov so you're trying to build out an area of your team that can give you real strength Grushnikov was part of the Hamilton Bulldogs that won the OHL championship went to the Memorial Cup He's played very well for the Texas Stars in the American Hockey League. And he is a player that I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that he will play in the NHL and be a really good, solid, steady, consistent, dependable defender. And I think that's what Craig Cronroy was looking for. What I like to call, Jay, he was looking to get commensurate value. We can look at it and go, oh, he wanted a first-round draft pick. That's fine. You can ask for, for the moon, but when you start to get... Uh, a, a reality of what is really realistic and then you can be comfortable with what the return is. I think C Craig Conroy has to feel really good about this return. And on the flip side, the Dallas Stars have made a major statement getting Chris Tanner. Because while Craig Conroy is looking at it from a future perspective, the Dallas Stars are looking at it from right now and trying to make themselves a better contender for the Stanley Cup. Chris Tanner absolutely does that. Craig, it seems like you and I have been talking about Chris Tanev for the entire season and potential teams that might be interested in him. So many teams were potentially interested in them. How much of a missed opportunity is this for a team like, say, the Toronto Maple Leafs? When you get a player that brings what Chris Tanev brings to the game and, and you think about playoff hockey, Jay, think about all the things that matter. Hard, competitive, every other night giving it everything you got, leaving everything you have on the ice. Two years ago in the playoffs, he was playing with a shoulder that was basically held together by tape. But that willingness to do whatever he can to help the team, to match up against the other team's best players, penalty kill, block shots, all the things that are critically important to success. And you know what, inevitably what you hear after you hear, oh, is that all the Calgary Flames got? Oh, geez, we were offering something better. Well, if you're offering something better, it certainly wasn't appealing to Craig Conroy. So the Toronto Maple Leafs, other teams, you want to talk about being serious about the Stanley Cup? You're serious when you go and acquire Chris Tanner. And when you fall short, it's exactly what you've done. You're falling. Don't start crying. Don't start bemoaning the fact. And the Dallas Stars were the ones that said, we're serious. We're going to be bold. And they did it. Other teams, you want to be a Stanley Cup contender? You need players like Chris Tanner. They don't have them. Good for Jim Neal. Good for the Dallas Stars. Not so good for James Duffy. I, I hope this is it until March the 8th or James could be in real trouble. Craig, you're the best. Thanks for this. <laughs>